shoot, gun, run, kill hordes of zombies. This is exactly what this game is about. Welcome to Zombathon, a world in which the zombies have taken over and it is your job to gun down and defend your fort. You can upgrade your weapons, buy new ones, and ultimately become the ultimate zombie defender. In this game, there are two modes, hard and easy. The game becomes increasingly difficult after each round, and it is your job to kill as many zombies as you can without turning into one yourself. Does this game live up to the expectations, or is it just dead like the creatures you kill? Let's get started in our fourth episode of Game Review. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, thank you so much to our Patreon supporters, Bitback Gaming. Also, a quick update, I may stream on my second channel, Tanuki Extras, of how I edit. You can find the link in my featured channel and the secret link in the description. Enough hesitation, let's just dump right into it. To find our total or final score, let's calculate this through three sections, add them together, and divide by three to bring us our average. These three sections include overall concept slash gameplay, scripting, and building. We then find our total score and I give my final thoughts. Let's first start off with our overall concept. According to the description, the game idea slash concept is Fight endless hordes of zombies. Kill zombies for XP and rupees. Level up to unlock new pistols. Trade and upgrade your weapons. The concept isn't very original, as there are many games out there that use the same ideal or round shoot 'em up system, the most notable being Zombie Rush. In fact, hundreds of games use this mechanic, and I really don't see how this game's concept stands out compared to them. There is also a secondary game mode where you can become a zombie and attempt to kill players. This game mode provides good timing in the usage of between rounds. I really agree that this game mode was done quite nicely and the controls also are very refined. The final score in that round, combined, of the overall concept and the gameplay mechanics would be a 7.5 out of 10. Let's move on to our next topic, scripting. I believe that the GUIs in game could use some work. They have a bit of a non-smooth animation that I would personally prefer to be smoother. However, the text is readable and is nice and clear, which I find quite well. The elements in game, such as guns, work quite nicely, are easy to aim and easy to handle. However, the crossbar sometimes glitches and it is hard to aim at those times. What I find especially of a nicer element, however, is the kill count ratio and the running mechanics. They work quite nicely and R15 pairs nicely with the game as of the animations being smooth. My total score for scripting would be a 6.5, however, as of the numerous glitches and bugs in game that certainly need to be improved in order for the game to work smoothly. Lastly, let's review the building. The building of the game is set in the medium detail style and the overall lobby and set theme seems to want to mix with the grunge style or the punk style, which focuses on heavy elements and overall fits a goth, dark, and gloomy theme. This style was popular in the 90s era. However, the theme seems to not fit so well, and it should be a bit lighter toned as most of the maps are lighter toned as well as the mood and era. An alternative style would seem to fit much nicer. My overall score in the building is a 7.5 out of 10. 